Hi. Um, I just want to ask you a few questions. Sure. Um, and the question number one is, who are the Hebrew Israelites? Who are the Hebrew Israelites? Yes. Who are the Hebrew Israelites? I, uh, I told you earlier that those are not the people who are in Israel right now. But they are the people who came long time ago from Spain and mostly they are in South America. They are the Hebrew Israelite people. South Americans? South Americans. Mostly. How about Central Americans? Yes, mostly. How about uh, Native Native Americans? Yes. And um, how about uh, so-called Negroes? Some of them. In, in that area, if they were from that primitive area defined as the, as the areas used to be for the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, so uh, 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 African Americans, so-called Negroes today, are also right. Hebrew Israelites. Right. Okay, um, why doesn't the government tell the truth about the Hebrew Israelites and their true identity? Because uh, they are afraid of, they are hiding the fact that if the true history and that the facts will be out, this political equation will change drastically. Okay. The Jewish people in Israel, are they the real Jews? No. No? What, what would you call them? They are more Nazis. They, they are more uh, uh, Zionists. Zionists? No, Zionists, yeah. Zionists? Yeah. Okay. They are more Zionist people than really Jews people. Okay. Um, why are the white Jewish people in Israel? Where did they come from? They came from different countries, different regions, like Russia, like Romania, like Poland, like Hungary, Germany, and all different places. Okay. Uh, why? And are they there in Israel right now? If they were not, if they came from other places? For two main reasons. Number one, after the Second World War, they were thrown out and life was very tough for them. That was one. Some of them came for that you know, reason. But majority of them were planted there intentionally by, for the creation of Israel. Okay. Okay. Now, who discovered the Hebrew Israelites in this land here we call today America? I think white Jews. White Jews? Yeah. Would, um, can you because, name somebody? Because they are being against Zionist extremist state as Israel. So they came up with the idea that they are not the right Hebrew Israelite people and okay. some researchers maybe I don't know exactly who was first to point it out but it's a process of history and it kept developing okay. time to time okay. refining Would you say that uh, Christopher Columbus had to do with such um uh, history involved in, in this? Oh yes, yes. Christopher Columbus basically he was a Jewish person, extremist, and he came up with the idea with two main reasons like he will spread the Christianity here, he will enforce the Christianity by force, and he had the sport, full sport of the Vatican Church to do so. <coughs> the support. To support. Christianity. He promised that he will spread uh, all Christianity here and he will force people to accept Christianity. And this is what he did. Okay. Now, now are there any type of resources that uh, made Columbus think that people were on this side of the world? 
any history books, any scriptures or? No, really. he by himself, he thought he's going to India. And that's why when he saw first person in the Bahamas, he said, oh, they are red Indians because they were not, they were not dark Indians, like in India, really. Okay. So he called them red Indians. Red, okay. Um, maybe I asked you this question. I think this might be the, the last question. Why do you say that black, Hispanic, and native are the true Hebrew Israelites? They are following or they are carrying the same message or some traditions which uh, Hebrew Israelite peoples used to. Okay. That's one reason. And number two, they have been proven in some way that they have to do something with the Hebrew Israelite people. And this is their origin, like they are identified being in that, by that race. Okay. So that's why it is so. Now, one last question. Uh, Christ, the Messiah, um, you have seen the picture that they post on the, on the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. on the Christian Church. Mm -hmm. Is that the true Messiah? No, no, it is not. What is the, the true identity of the Messiah? He, I mean, there is another very strong version of the story that he was a lot darker than what they depict him as that he is. He was a lot darker. So when we say darker, then he may not be the one of the white people. Okay. Very simple as that. Thank you very much, and I appreciate your, okay. your information. Thank you. Bye.